All right, um, just gonna deal with this wire in here and not worry about it. So um, we are working another step on character design. Um, and so with study drawings, and I'm drawing with a brown pencil because that's what I have right next to me. So there's no, uh, no fancy artistic um, purpose uh, for for that decision um, I just need to get this video going um, so we're going to start off with gesture lines gesture lines and uh, what we'll be doing are are because I'm kind of combining classes now um, next year we're going to be uh, kind of doing away with sculpting and everything's going to be just blended into 3D design um, and so uh, I want to I want to try to kind of <clears throat> fix that so things are going to be a, a little bit more smoother um, and in 3D design we just finished a project where we had you do uh, study drawings for understanding uh, and the purpose for that was to help us to see more clearly what it really was that we were looking at um, and so this drawing is going to be uh, practice this is for um, a sub day uh, going on a field trip and most most everybody didn't uh, want to go and so we have uh, this this exercise in preparation for what we'll be doing um, and this is a photograph I took last year over at uh, Deer Creek Reservoir of a sand hill crane and I am anytime I'm doing a demo and uh, talking and drawing it's never as good as I can do um, I'm trying to balance too many things um, it's just hard to draw and talk in the first place uh, I'm not uh, Aaron Blaze by any stretch of the means. Um, I don't work for Disney. Okay, or didn't work for Disney. Alright, so that, I'm making all kinds of mistakes. This is supposed to be longer right here. Um, and I need to sharpen my pencil, but anyway. Uh, this is a drawing study for understanding the purpose is to see what it is that we're looking at um, and not just make it up uh, have less less of those mistakes at least I can see and know exactly what I did wrong um, these are really important they're called studies so you can actually see what something looks like uh, Betsy Edwards uh, drawing on the right side of the brain she, uh, I think it was like her master's project or something like that. She created this book uh, where uh, the studies show that we have two, the two different parts of sides of our brains. We have the left side, which is the more literal side, the mathematical side, the naming side, the symbolic side, where uh, if we are asked to draw a face, we draw a circle with uh, the eyeballs in the forehead and uh, and other silly things like that which are nowhere near what uh, what it really is in, in actuality uh, and so uh, we have to stop naming things number one but we start to just look and that's a big thing is looking or to, to see not looking just to look um, because to in order to actually see something it takes a, a pretty hefty amount of study and and for me um, kind of the development that I've had from growing up my mom she's an artist and she she really loves Betsy Edwards uh, way of teaching she does art lessons based off of Bessie Edwards uh, material uh, but when I went to college they uh, they kind of 
they said, yeah, Betsy Edwards is good and everything, but, and so, um, we, we learned how to measure and how to see, uh, using, uh, different, or was just more kind of just really looking, uh, we did every, it was studies, there were studies and studies and studies, um, because in the book, Betsy Edwards, uh, if you just follow the book, you kind of draw this acorn-shaped head, and every face is the same, um, regular, uh, time and time again, that I've seen people, uh, my mom, she didn't have that problem, because she's, she got past that, but she's very good, but in general, people that I see who aren't studied and trained artists, they, uh, they draw the acorn face and then the same face over and over again because they don't study um, and again I'm talking 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 so my drawings more symbolic than than the way it should be but uh, this little part goes right here I try to these legs in here. And there's some grass right there. And then this crosses over. So, <clears throat> sandhill cranes are a wading bird, and um, <clears throat> I love birds, I love wading birds. Uh, last project I drew a gray heron that I took a picture of, um, anywho, uh, this is, this study is because I for the character I'm going to be designing, creating, is uh, going to be for for a. It's going to be kind of a riding, a riding monster creature uh, for the character on my floating island, which is. Uh, of, uh, the the other part to this exercise, this project that that is in the development stages. Um, so just to explain, uh, the next thing we will be doing, uh, the next thing we'll be doing for today's exercise is we'll be drawing a floating island. Uh, that might be. A little new for you, uh, but we'll just be doing a more linear perspective to help us get that worked out. Um, pretty simple exercise, but I want you to start designing a floating island where uh, last last project we for people in 3D design, um, we talked about inspiration and influence and uh, how those uh, really help develop our, our character. And, and our our worlds that we live in and so uh, the next thing I wanted us to do was to create our own our own world and not like a, not like a Sims world or something like that a simulated world this is a world meant to be a recharging place okay not a place to run away but a place to go to think and to contemplate to uh, discover things about yourself and to uh, have learning opportunities. Okay. So, um, kind of a training ground. Okay, we're doing okay. Um, so this is white, this is red, and this is gray, gray and 
brown. So this is a steady drawing where I want you to be taking more time. Oh, going back to the island. Um, so the island is, this is, uh, you're going to be designing and making a floating island out of foam, plaster, and uh, some other, some other uh, materials. And then, and then, um, what else? Foam, plaster. Oh, and you'll make a little, uh, whatever is going to be going on in that island, you're going to, uh, it's going to have at least three things. Um, mine has a little house, it has a tree and a little pond. But then I have side sculptures that, that further tell a story that, that I'm going to have you, uh, have you design and create and make. Um, so... The purpose is you're going to be creating kind of a narrative, a story, um, a fanciful fantasy kind of a story of a place where you would go to to recharge. And uh, mine is uh, influenced by the Chinese hermit uh, kind of meditation temples up in by the used by the monks in the mountains um, and so a lot of times when I talk to people ask my students well where would you like to live they say in the mountains away from people now I'm not I'm not wanting to run away from people I don't want to you know live in the mountains where there is nobody um, but that is a place where I go to recharge um, for years I've gone into the mountains to go hiking now I've gotten into uh, ice climbing and rock climbing and hiking in addition to the usual. Um, but it's a time where I, I run into wildlife, I get to take pictures, I get to push myself and have exerted um, some energy and get some, some fun adrenaline thrills. Um, that's kind of something that I enjoy doing. Um, I don't necessarily like to just sit. Uh, kind of stir crazy. So this is maybe we should go this way. Make you some of you go crazy, uh, but you can see it a little bit better. Um, and I'll. We'll be drawing this together. This picture will be to the side of the video on on a Google slide. Um, there's a little more brown in here, a little darker. This is more gray, but this is a grassy patch. So anyway, this uh, we're uh, at the end of last term. I had you start studying some episode two, Star Wars episode two, uh, monsters, try to think, to look and see how they were created and what animals were taken apart to, to make those. And so for me, um, the, the first study I'm going to do is this Sand Hill Crane uh, because it's going to be uh, mostly heavily based off of this. He's going to be riding, riding a um, kind of a, a, an ostrich type of a sandhill crane, a long leg bird, you know, and, and he's a fisherman and the, the wading bird is, is a fishing bird. And so they, they kind of work together. And also, this guy, um, he's influenced by, his design's influenced by the, the cormorant fishers. Uh, which I'll, I'll give a little explanation of in a minute um, on, on the next video. So, this is a quick 
a quick sketch of explaining what my kind of the example of what I'm looking for I'm positive you would have uh, kind of seen it uh, anyway but uh, so this is and he's got his big grass hat on his little Fu Ming or his Chinese white beard and then he has these cool grass covers anyway so um, me and people drawing people I'm not super good at it I need a reference um, so but anyway so it'll be something where it's a, a long legged uh, bird type of an animal like that a walk in the water um, and so this is along the lines of what I'm wanting you to do we'll be coming up with a character but I know a lot of you don't know how to draw or don't feel like you're very good at it. And so uh, I get a lot of, uh, this isn't even something I want to do. I didn't want to take this class. I've never done anything like this. So I can just gonna do some some poor, poor quality something. Um, but the reality is I really need to, I really need to start holding people more accountable, hold myself more accountable. Um, for quality um, and people are either going to work to earn the grade or or they're, they're going to you know, not get a good grade so anyway um, so that's kind of an example of a rough sketch and then a little bit more tight sketch of, uh, of a sandhill crane and then a type of an animal that's going to be influenced by a sandhill crane uh, for my my little little fisherman guy here and so this is these two in the shadows um, I don't have a light but this is him this is uh, the sculpted version and I'll have that for you in class to show you when that's appropriate anywho so that was uh, I think like 15 or 20 minutes so um, take your time. I'm, I'm expecting to see a study drawing of your choosing. So you're going to have, um, looking at the, the, from what we did last, last couple classes of studying the Star Wars Episode 2 animal analysis, um, work on that if, if that is still not done. This is the next thing to do. I want you to start doing your own study. So get your own references. I'm going to be using pictures from things that I've, I've photographed and maybe some other things. Um, but uh, i got to think of what my next animal is going to be. And so that's going to be my next video. Coming up next.